Hello! For this week's experiment, we'll be using water and oil. In this clear tumbler, we've added cold, clear water. We have our food coloring and our tablespoon to measure and vegetable oil. With the cold water, we're going to add the oil to our second container using the tablespoon. One. And two. You can use more or less, but this should be the perfect amount for our demonstration. Now, using the food coloring, this is a green water-based food coloring, and we're going to add a couple of drops to the oil. One, two, three. Take a look at the tumbler. You can see that those droplets have not mixed with the oil. They're just hanging there, suspended, like little beads in the oil. Does the same thing happen when you add yours? Now if we take our water and we combine the two, pouring the oil into the water, what happens? We have color. They have mixed. As the coloring and the water mix, it dissipates, creating the entire green effect that you can see here. Our water-based food coloring doesn't mix with the oil. The oil is hydrophobic and it repels the food coloring. However, when we take the oil with the beads of food coloring in it and dump it into the water, like we previously did, they do combine. You may notice that on top of the water is a little la layer of oil. That's because that oil, as we mentioned before, doesn't mix with the water. It floats on top. That hydrophobic phobic oil will always stay there. You also might notice that we've got little beads still suspended in the oil. Let's see if we can get those to mix with the water by agitation. Agitation is where we mix or add some energy to our solution. While I've managed to make a few bubbles and dissipate some of the food coloring, it's not mixed entirely. That might happen. Now, if you've got a small water bottle, you can make your own lava lamp using these same principles. We are going to go ahead and add a little bit of oil to our bottle. You can fill it anywhere from halfway to almost entirely full with the oil. Now we're going to add some drops of food color. Just like in our clear container from before, you'll notice that the beads don't mix with the oil. Now if you add your cap and a little bit of water, there you go.